guys, it is time for entertainment news. Moving on from OJ real quick. All right, so the first story is why I removed my womb, said by Nse Ekpe Etim. Now, Nollywood actress Nse Ekpe Etim has revealed why she has not had a child and why she's not going to have one. She, however, added that she removed her womb to save her life after she was diagnosed with adenomyces. Now, the Nollywood star made this revelation while speaking at an event tagged conversation with Nse, where she opened up about being diagnosed with the disease in 2016. Now she said, I was told I couldn't have kids and so I have to have a his hysterectomy to make me have a life again and to stop going through what I was going through. And I'm literally telling women and men, it really doesn't matter if you can't bear children. Now what really matters is what you do for the world and for the universe. Now this medical condition that she has is one in which the inner lining of the uterus breaks through the muscle wall of the uterus. Now, the only definitive cure is a hysectomy. Oh, my goodness. Now, that is the removal of the uterus. Now, this is often the treatment of choice for women with significant in symptoms. Now, I don't really know the pronunciation of that word. What is it? Hysectomy? Okay, hysectomy. Okay. All right. So, this is really sad, by the way. But then I'm happy with the way she is handling it. I'm happy with the way she has spoken up about it and uh, she's not letting the womb watchers put her to shame, if you know what I mean. Yes, I think that when you speak out and some, nothing uh, looks like a secret any longer, you're, you're like you're half, um, I don't know how to put that word right now, but then it, it's, it's just fantastic when you can speak out so that maybe somebody who knows your secret or that's that you have done before does not go about saying all of those, but then it is just fantastic that she lets it out. And she's human. Right now you see her going about her business, going, doing her usual hustle, acting and doing other things, whereas we didn't know that she was having this issue. But it's great that she has spoken about it so nobody can even take all those womb watchers. Pass it out. And when will you give birth? When will you give birth? Yeah, because she, she actually even did yeah. like an interview yeah. where she was talking about how people, people asking. Will, she will even eat and maybe her tummy is a little bit big and, and like, oh my goodness, yay! She's pregnant. And I'm like, oh, why are we still doing this in 2019? Mm. It's really sad. And then the only achievements that I really acknowledge are children, marriage, wedding, and like stuff that. like that. So I'm happy that she's coming out. And I'm happy that her husband is also in support, in support of it. Yes. Because mm. she also mentioned how he was there when she was diagnosed and he held her hand and he's like, I'm here with you it's so it's crazy. bittersweet kind of it's just crazy yeah. we wish her the best yes definitely, we do definitely okay moving on to the next story juliet ibrahim and iceberg slim take jabs at each other ghanian actress juliet ibrahim has replied the coded shade posted on instagram by ex-lover rapper iceberg slim who kind of accused her of being a cheater it all started when iceberg slim put up a picture saying this could be us but you are a cheater well, Juliet Ibrahim also took to her own Instagram page to reply with a series of her own, this could be us post. One of the pictures was captioned, this could be us, but I am blip, 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 dummy. <laughs> I'm not a blip, 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 dummy. <laughs> and she, the crazy thing is, Iceberg just dropped one post, but Juliet Ibrahim dropped like three, four, <laughs> replying Iceberg's name back. I don't know, what's happening here? What's happening here? Drama, that's what's happening, drama, relationship drama. I mean, so... Um, so when will you get to the level that you people were, you were, you were cool, taking pictures, <laughs> cuddling, <laughs> iceberg grabbing something that's not supposed to be grabbing, and right oh, now wow. everything, everything is turned upside down, and now they are subbing yourself codedly on Instagram. At least it's coded. I just hate it when people have been close before and yes. all of a sudden they become strangers. It's so sad, you know. I don't like it. I don't like that feeling at all. But then since you're not dating any longer, I think people should just be matured enough to just, you know, move on. Be mature mm. about it. Move on. Stop doing all those Twitter, yeah. Instagram, but online stuff. But it's hard, stuff. though. It's hard it's when hard. you're in love and you have to leave the love and it doesn't but turn out is, the way you want it to. Who is bitter now? I expect just put up a post. I mean, what do you yeah, mean? He, he just put up a post. He just put up it wasn't a, just a random post. Uh, he put up one. Yeah. She, why didn't she just ignore or put up one, two? Oh, she had wow. to put up one, two, The way three. she responds is the way she wants to respond. Uh, she's allowed to respond however she wants to respond. Now it's and now, who even says she's responding okay. to him? It's okay. all speculation. Okay, when I said Iceberg, Iceberg is talking so, to Exactly, that's why I say it's all speculation. We know that is very effective. 
Oh, wow. All right, so moving on. And now it's the foreign news. And now Chris Archer's wife shot dead in U.S. Chris Archer's wife, Betty Jennifer, has been shot dead at a Maryland office in the United States of America. According to reports, the actor's wife was shot in the head in the parking lot of our office building over the weekend. Uh, the suspect, according to the police, is described as a black male with a thick build and black hair, wearing a dark shirt and pants. So following her death, investigations have revealed that she was still married to drug lord. According to Greenbelt Police Department, uh, Betty was still legally married to 47-year-old Kendrick Jennifer, who uh, is currently serving a 20-year prison sentence for importing large amounts of cocaine into Baltimore from Texas. Now, proud to her married to Chris Atto, Betty had not divorced Kendrick. However, Kendrick had um, filed the divorce in April 2019. Then it was reported that Betty filed a divorce suit six days after. In 2018, Chris Atto tied the knot with Betty Jennifer after breaking up with his first wife and colleague Damilola Adegbite. Now, this is mm. so sad. I like, know. I couldn't even... Mm. <sighs> I saw Reading. this I saw this over the weekend and in fact when I saw it I was scared because um it was on a no that actor's page and uh, it was like oh my god Chris Arto pray for and then at first I thought did anything happen to Chris mm -mm. and when I went back to read the uh, it's so so <sighs> we we brought we brought news earlier that Chris Arto deleted all our pictures yeah. last week or last yeah. two weeks now this is coming over the weekend that she is dead. Yeah. Now people are putting one and two together. Like, are they no longer together? And she was still married to the drug lord who is in prison right about now, before she even got married to Chris yeah. at all. So everything is just um, I mean, messy you, and fishy. Wow, well, yeah. Yeah, but then again, everything is still speculation mm. until there's proper yeah. evidence. Mm. Because before we came out to the story that she was actually married before to this drug lord and he is facing 20 years imprisonment, imprisonment. currently, um, most people were saying, oh, he deleted her pictures yes. last time. I mean, what's happening, what's and, happening and stuff like that. But then I feel like it's deeper than the surface and a lot of things are involved because it was actually a premeditated murder. If you, if you read it properly, they said she was run. She ran across an entire, she ran, she ran. An entire car the park her. and the guy followed her. So you can't tell me that it was an accident or something. So it was definitely premeditated, but we don't know why, what the motive was. And we also don't know why she was married to Chris Atta while why she was still, still married, married to, to the drug lord. So I feel like a lot of investigation has to be done for us to properly say what we feel. She yeah. was assassinated. Okay. She was. Okay. Very sad. Yes, and finally right here on the news, Kim and Kanye welcome fourth child, rapper Kanye West and reality star Kim Kardashian are probably the happiest couple in town at the moment as they have welcomed their fourth child via a surrogate. Kim Kardashian announced the arrival of the new addition to their family via a Twitter page, writing, it's here and is perfect. Kim Kardashian and Kanye West already have three kids, not Saints and of course Chicago. Mm. Talking about names, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. I was going to ask, is that where we got our TSM from? Maybe, maybe, maybe. not. <laughs> <laughs> so oh congratulations gosh. to Kim. What do you think this fourth child will be called now? Um, oh, I know because they have interesting names. Mm. They do have interesting names. North Chicago Saints. Saint. Maybe, Maybe New Orleans, Orleans. Maybe New West or um, South. You know, or mm. something. No, people were actually thinking you even name somebody. Not northwest or southwest, but. <laughs> but guess what? It could actually be very long, like you know, uh, the Kim Duchess Manos of Kim. Success. No, <laughs> but I'm just really uh, like surprised the way Kim has been, the way she has turned out to be like such a family woman, wanting to have so many children, wanting to be, have this been, family like, time. And... From this, from the tape. Okay. <laughs> Honey, still entertainment splash, and it is time for a tweet meal. Yes, we bring you all the savagery, humor, and craziness social media has to offer in five minutes or less. Guys, are you ready? Yes, we are. All right, Let's go. Okay, so this one is from Olu Shola Olu Folabi, and he says, <clears throat> "A date is a meeting between two people who wish to know more about each other, not an opportunity to order food you have never eaten before and request for a new phone. 
or house rent. Olushola, tell them, Nigerian girls. How many people are on this table? Tell ni all Nigerian girls. <laughs> no, no not, not all Nigerian table. girls are on this table. Okay. Okay. Don't, don't, 80, don't 80 group percent, us together. Eighty percent Nigerian girls. So the only thing I don't agree with on this tweet is other food you have never eaten before. Actually, I do that a lot. I like you to see, eat. No, no, no. But day. then it's about learning. It's not about at variety. I'm not at all. You see? I, nobody said I can't pay for it. Okay. That's why not go. On? Why so not, what do you want to be eating? Why, dollar fries no, and why chicken. Not, why not take yourself out? And I, go I do eat, that. And go and go and eat what you've not. No, eaten. you know what? This not is actually relative. This, this is it's relative. This is relative. But then the new phone and house rent. That one is just too extra, girlfriend. Like you're being very desperate. Hungry. Yeah. Hungry? Yes! <laughs> like you know them, like what? They irritate you. No, Even no, when no, I hear no. stuff like that, I'm like, know. what? Dear, uh -uh. dear Nigerian girl. Right. Second tweet. Now, I went to my girlfriend's house and saw her other boyfriend drinking water from the fridge that I bought for her. So I took the whole <laughs> fridge. I hate nonsense. Now you can see this guy carrying the fridge. I don't even know where he's walking to. But then he's, this guy is he's not taking nonsense. This is petty 101. <laughs> so this is it. Why don't you just tell the girl that you like her? Why are you being nice when you know that you have other motives? And then you see the boyfriend gently drinking water from the fridge. And then you just carry so, the whole refrigerator away. I don't want to be away. tribalistic No, my guy, go and buy But there's a though. certain tribe of guys who believe that women are investments. Yes, so I know. So invest in a woman? I bought you a fridge in Guano. Jonas, <laughs> 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 now, we are five months into the year. How much have you achieved? Then Anthony replies, I don't like your tone. <laughs> I don't like this tone too. Cute okay, cherry. Like, I don't like this what, tone. Why are you bragging? Why, why, you, why are you making, reminding yeah, us? Why are you making us feel as if we've not done it in this year? Did you guys write a list? I don't like your tone too. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I write lists and yeah. it works for me. It has been working for me. Like the oh, first time ever. Yes, I okay. did. So I look at them every morning. Well, Hallelujah. Months. How much have you achieved? One yourself. <laughs> okay, how much have you achieved? Leave me. I don't, I don't, I don't like your tone. <laughs> and, and I might not write money like that, but then there are other things you want to do now. Over and now you've been doing it. Then you've been doing it. Thank God. Fantastic. Uh, yes, I've been doing it. Okay, so this one is from MNO Chronicles. And she says, someone I know saw her clothes in a Yoruba film. Turns out that the laundry guy what? was renting her clothes out to filmmakers. This country is too sweet, I beg. Oh. <laughs> Now, I'm now suspecting my laundry guy because every time I give him clothes, he comes back, is a big difference. The white become cream. So I'm now wondering do people if do this? my clothes are in a Yoruba film. I don't understand what's going hey, on. God. This is... <laughs> that is crazy. <laughs> I can't ah. talk like I'm speechless. Hmm. Okay. Okay, let's just move on, on that note. All right, so this is from Benita Jonah. And she says, which category do you belong to? And this one is for OG and Honeypots. Number one. Mommy, can I go out? Number two, mommy, I want to go out. <laughs> Number three, mommy, I'm going out. Number four, just disappear. Just disappear because just disappear. whichever way, whatever you tell her, you're not going out. So just go. <laughs> then come back and chop your beats in later. My <laughs> own is two, mommy, I want to go out. Where yeah, are you really? going? Not go. Where are you going to? Uh, then that's explaining. Um, that could be my father. No, my mother. My no. father. Oh, oh, oh gosh. Yeah, just, okay. I don't I want to remember. Move. What <laughs> about you? For me, it's stages. So this was secondary school. Mommy, can I go oh. out? Then, mommy, I want to go out to university. I, I'm growing wings small. <laughs> then, mommy, I'm going out. That's right about gang. now. I'm, I'm like, I'm gang. going out. I'm going to stay. <laughs> I'm not here to just disappear and then bomb you with. Hey. Even at this point, uh, you cannot just disappear. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this one is from The Equalizer. <clears throat> now, this thing now, original Italian jeans. You no go ever wash. I don't sell them for this market for five years. You no go wash. <laughs> See the bucket. When you wash it. When you now wash. Finally, I've washed it. This one is looking bluish. Maybe it's blue jeans. Oh, this one is black. Red too. Especially oh when goodness. they now have this light, you know, this bulb and they, in their shops. It, and it is blue. It's, and then you now say, you are saying you want to buy blue jeans. So you say it's white. Don't do like, don't do like, and original. Do like this. I think it's oh, actually on purpose. <laughs> you buy something, you'll be looking fresh. Original. By the time you wait, in reality, it's like, light. Is what's that, going on? Is that light it's the light lights now, the blue lights. And so you are there, you can't tell the real color. Oh, guys, how do you know these things? You have been doing... Oh, wow. Really? really? <laughs> uh, no, it could even be like, you don't see all those boutiques. <laughs> no, boutiques. They no, boutiques. boutiques now. They have blue lights. <laughs> Blue lights, boutiques. I'm not with people. It's a wrap. You are not serious. How do you even know the food? I know the deal. No, I, um, oh, okay. I was about that. Nice like, <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much for staying here with us.